Hi guys and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Ella Devar and I'm a registered dietitian and the founder of the Gut Brain Method where I marry science with mindfulness to be able to help busy individuals to lose weight, improve digestion, get rid of bloating and feel more confident. So here's what I eat in one day. As a registered dietitian, I walk my talk. Everything I eat is functionally and strategically picked to deliver the most amount of benefits and nutrient density to my body. My body is my temple. It gives me energy to be able to inspire, educate, and motivate others. So I take seriously the nourishment and the fuel that I put in my body. So here's what I usually eat in one day. I begin my day with waking up and simmering first my thoughts. This is the theta brainwave vibrations. When you're just waking up, you're still half awake and half asleep. You have access to your subconscious and this is when I take a moment to dive into my subconscious, right? I simmer my thoughts, I linger in that meditative state, I get into my meditation for maybe 10 minutes, and then I wake up and head to my kitchen. Kitchen is my favorite place in the house. I can't help it. I became a dietitian because I love eating. I call myself professional foodie for a reason, because I have a professional degree in food and nutrition science and because I love eating. I love food and I begin my day with a glass of warm water with some lemon or a few pomegranate juice capsules in there. And this way I'm able to rip the benefits of antioxidants and alkaline benefits of the juice. Mm. And then I have my breakfast. For breakfast, depends on which week of the cycle that I'm in. If it's a luteal phase right after my menstruation, usually what I have is a light breakfast. It could be a protein smoothie, a shake where I combine some vegetables like cauliflower, kale, and spinach with some fruits like half of a banana, berries, and antioxidant rich fruits like apples or pears. I combine that with some nut butter, with some protein powder. My favorite is pumpkin seed protein or collagen protein. And with that, I'm on and I'm ready to go. Or if it's my ovulation, or on my PMS, I eat a heartier breakfast, a hormone balancing breakfast, rich in protein and healthy fats to help me carb my cravings and therefore also help me to stay satisfied longer, to balance out my insulin and hormones. I usually have an egg with a piece of smoked salmon, some omelets with greens like sauteed vegetables like kale or broccoli, and with that, it helps me to stay full and have more energy and have less cravings. For lunch, what I usually like to have is a good salad. Here I have an example of what a healthy salad looks like. As you can see, there is a lot of different colors here, which I call eat the rainbow. When you eat the rainbow, you get the most benefits from nutrient-dense food and their antioxidants. Some of my favorite ingredients for a lunch salad are avocado, sweet potatoes, and the base of green vegetables like arugula, scallions, kale, or spinach. And the key here to be able to enjoy it is dressing. I love to make my own dressing where I combine tahini, olive oil, garlic with apple cider of vinegar and other spices like herbs and oregano and balsamic. So with that, I usually don't have a lot of snacks because the food choices that I have, they keep me full. And if I am hungry, I usually would have a beef jerky, an organic beef jerky or salmon jerky, or I would have a nut bar. My favorite is the fast bar by Perlone. And then it's dinner time. My dinner time is where I unwind and I allow myself some comfort food. I rarely eat raw foods for dinner. So I usually have some 
something cooked, whether it's a bone broth soup or my sauteed cooked vegetables, the broccoli or the kale or spinach, and combine it with colorful vegetables like carrots and beets, and also, of course, combine it with the protein. My favorite proteins for dinners are salmon and turkey or chicken. You name it, I love it all. When it comes to recommendations on proteins, quality is more important. Most people think that they need to take the skin off their chicken. No, their skin of the chicken is actually high in naturally occurring collagen. And I love using bone broth. So I'm using the bones and the skin to make the most nutritious bone broth. And with that, I'm done with the day with food. And I like to have my dinners early. And also after dinner, I rarely have desserts, but when I do, it's usually a piece of dark chocolate or a few berries some of my favorite berries are blueberries and raspberries and I love my herbal teas some of my favorite herbal teas to have for dessert are fresh mint with hot water chamomile and turmeric tea ginger tea is my top favorite whenever I have access to ginger I would always add it with hot water and lemon to help to stimulate digestion with that the day is done and I'm ready ready to go back to sleep into my deep meditative state where I like to begin my sleep with deep exhales to help my body to switch from sympathetic to parasympathetic nervous system to get rid of toxins to detoxify throughout the night and to get the best recovery that's it for today let me know if this was helpful and I'm happy to answer any questions and that you might have voila <laughs> 